All right, build UI to display a record. So, on this particular trail, we are going to discuss specifically on how to get the data or the JSON data from the UI API. So I have opened Workbench for you to see. If you open a Workbench and log in with your Trailhead Playground um, login or user and add this UI slash API record UI slash and then your record ID from your Playground. For example, grab this record ID from your Playground from the URL on the top there and just put it there and then you hit execute you will have this and you can see if I expand all there is a bunch of data basically right tons of data so if I click on show raw response you will see this this is what you will get in response if you call this from any script or any other um, yeah, script that you're familiar with, you will re receive this JSON response. Then you can build your UI from scratch by parsing all this um, JSON data. So what the Record Viewer app has done for us, because somebody has built the Record Viewer um, app, they have built a parser. So you don't have to investigate or figure out what this whole thing is doing, right? But you actually have to know because without knowing, you, you will be um, forced to be using this um, record for your app if you want to build something. What if you want to build an app on uh, for iOS or for Android or for anything else that's totally using a different programming language that you're already familiar with so you have to actually understand how to parse those yourself but all this trail this particular module is using the application that they are already using okay enough of that now let's see what you can um, pass for the parameters like this form factor and then there's layout type and mode. So when you call the REST API, you can decide the form factor. Is it a large form factor, medium, or small? What's the difference? The form factor. So this is, for example, the lightning interface, right? If I click details here, this is a what? A large form factor. But if I uh, if I resize this, see, it's gonna change to what medium form factor. It's gonna look like that. If I make it like a phone, it's gonna be like a phone form factor, right? Maybe I need to refresh this guy. See, well, you know what I mean. I I need to change the, the actual. Um, with Chrome, you can change um, to view the page as a phone or as an iPad, but that is the form factor, okay? So what is the layout type? Full or compact? So you can pull the data, the JSON data that is being returned by the API. You can define, oh, I'm building a form factor for another form factor a compact layout which you can choose from here comfy or compact okay refresh now now it looks a bit different right and then you can also choose comfy so that's the layout type is full and compact and then the mode the mode is is it creating a record viewing or editing what's the difference this is viewing mode this is viewing mode right and if i go to edit mode this is edit mode right so you pass to the ui api 
what mode do you want to pull? If you pull edit mode, it's going to give you JSON uh, response that pertains to the edit mode that looks like this. Okay, you got that? Or if you want to make a new account, for example, if I click here, this is a new account creator, a new account layout. So the JSON will respond according to the new account mode. So that's the important stuff. So you have form factor, you can decide or define the layout type and the mode. Okay, so here. To return child records without having to construct queries that join two records, use the child relationships parameter. The response is paginated, so you can break page one, page two, page three, and includes one level of child relationships. Okay, for example, this request returns an account record and its opportunity child record. So here, child opportunities. So if I copy this guy here and I add to my workbench at the end of it, if I scroll up, it will also include the child opportunities. So question mark, child relationships account opportunities execute. So somewhere inside there, we will have opportunities somewhere. There, okay, relationship opportunities, and then you have to parse the whole thing again. So basically, I want to show you how the general idea is look, look like. I don't want to go into the details of this record viewer application, um, how the whole thing is coded, because we are not going to always develop with that kind of framework. You got to choose your own framework. So you need to know how to pass the JSON response and display the record, okay? So this is how you do it, but this is actually explaining about that record viewer application, the get layout model from, from, from that application here, <clears throat> which I'm just gonna skip. So I just wanna show you how the whole thing works. So this is how you render layout components and, and, and everything else, okay? So let's finish up by doing the quiz. Which request gets record data and metadata? This one, record UI, record IDs. You can pass multiple records. When you use the child relationships parameter to get child records, how many levels? Just one, we just read that. What does the mode parameter? The mode, right? The task the user is performing, create, view, or edit. Okay, that's it. I'll see you on the next section. Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor. Like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.